So I've got this tractor. All I do is use it for blowing snow. It's got a really nice snow blower on the front. It's perfect for this. But the, uh, I think the technical term here is the cranky handle. The move the chute broke. Let's spin this guy around. So the only thing that's wrong with it is the cotter pin broke. Well, that's way above my skill set to fix. So I'm going to yank this handle out. And I'm going to replace it with a motor, a windshield wiper motor. Most of my videos are kind of long. And I'm going to shorten this one. This one's going to be a nice short one. This is not a hard project. And I'll throw a switch up here on the dash for it. So I can go right and left. What I'm going to use is this windshield wiper motor and a $8, $5 switch. And it's as simple as that guy. I'm going to use this particular one. I'll have the part number for it. I want to say it's from a Honda or Hyundai or some piece of shit. Um, but the reason why this one's nice is because this socket fits right into it. For 3 8 socket, I cut the centering pin off, and that guy sticks right on there. And I just weld a little threaded rod for a shaft on it. And a hole for that cotter pin that's outsmarted me so far. And that's it. It's a reversible switch. The wiring simple, positive and negative go in the center. And this way switches these two. This way switches these two. And all I do is run positive, negative, negative in over here, jumper it, and switch the two. So that reverses the polarity. I've seen more complicated ways to do that. By the way, there's some extra wires right here on this particular model. I just cut them and taped it and then taped it on there so they don't get in the way. They do some magical task that we don't need to do. So. And I'm going with red to max my tractor since sometime in the 80s somebody put a Harley Davidson sticker on it. So now the tractor's cool and I have to keep it that way. I used a saw a minute ago and it didn't do too well. Three weeks later. All right, we got it all wired up. I came off of the battery with a switch down here, a fuse switch, because this thing had an accessory, sort of, 
but it only it turned the lights on every time and I don't know if I always wanted to have the lights on so I flipped that guy on here and I got a lighted switch because I want to know if I forget to turn it off so I don't kill the battery so I got that guy wired through this wire loam I don't know a lot of people call it smurf tube but it's not blue so it's not really a smurf tube and then down here I've made a bracket I didn't get all that high tech on the bracket, but it did use all stainless fasteners. And put this windshield wiper with my socket 3 8 extension adapter and that uh, cotter pen that still managed to kick my ass. So we're all good. So we'll give it a, a test, although you know, I'm not going to record it if the test fails and it bursts into flames. You'll never know. But that will melt the snow. So I've got my switch on and we're going to go this way. Faster than I can crank it. I think that's fast enough. So there we go. I'll put the model number for that uh, motor and the switch. Well, then that we're good to go. Oh, one comment I want to put on here, and let's pull the camera out and do some really crappy video work. When you do this, these bolts absolutely have to be stove bolts they really should be stainless but the last thing you want is to put a hex head bolt on there and have this guy grab it and ruin your day that's plenty of room I can get my finger in there it's not gonna be a problem and what I forgot to do, and I'm going to do it off camera. Even though I have a lock washer on the back, I'm going to double nut them because you don't want these bolts coming off of here. And that ought to do it. Okay. Thanks for watching.